but yes, I think the days of 10% growth are, are days we can fondly recall. I actually am very happy to hear China talking about rebalancing its growth uh, to more sustainable levels. I think it is good news. Good news for China, good news for quality, good news for the world. I actually am very happy to hear China talking about rebalancing its growth and bringing it a bit down because it's not just the quantity of growth, but as you said, the quality of growth. So if China still grows at about 6.5% over the next five years, I wouldn't be too concerned because the quality of growth is very important. China has had extraordinarily high growth rates for an extraordinarily long time. I mean. I, three decades of growth rates on the order of eight to ten percent, uh, historically almost unprecedented. Uh, and essentially in, in this sort of the way e economists think about what's been going on is China has been moving uh, from relatively inefficient systems and processes to more efficient systems and processes. They've been moving out to the technological frontier. And once you begin to get close to the technological frontier, things begin to slow down because it's, it's much easier to adapt existing technologies that you haven't used before than it is to develop new technologies. And uh, so the notion that, there, that, that there's a new normal and the recognition that there's a new normal and that uh, growth rates may no longer be 10%, they might be 7%, and they might even be less than 7%. China is now a very large economy, second largest. It will become the largest economy in a few years. So 6.5% of a much larger economy is good. Uh, so I think in a way, it's a good idea that China is starting to think about the quality of growth, about the inclusiveness, about issues about inequality, about green growth, about issues about environment. And if that means that the growth rate is a bit lower, but it's more sustainable, uh, it's good for China and it's good for the world. So I think overall, uh, it's an appropriate thing to do. In the service sector, uh, now the largest uh, s sector in the Chinese economy, but still relatively low, small, given the incomes of China. So there's there's plenty of room uh, for additional growth and for additional efficiencies. But yes, I think the days of 10% growth are, are days we can fondly recall. Uh, and uh, now it's time to realize that uh, growth rates will be lower. Do understand that 7% growth, which is the sort of current target, is higher than the growth of most other economies. And it's certainly much higher than the growth of industrial economies who don't seem to be able to grow more than about 3%. Uh, so, you know, 7% is not shabby. It's, it's really quite impressive. I think it is good news. Good news for China, good news for quality, good news for the world. And uh, I think it is... Uh, uh, better than to, than to want uh, to to make uh, uh, growth for growth, and also I think uh, uh, we need uh, more uh, to modernize in China, uh, more of, um, to have more modernization uh, in the for the first point, and also to to take care about the quality of the products. And, then, and the way uh, to protect uh, the, the environment. Because some people thought, oh, maybe uh, um, the economy, uh, uh, the world economy will have uh, big problems. No, no. I think it is just uh, a phase of stabilization which is necessary to build a better economy, more strong, more deeply, more real for China, but also for the world. Well, China grew rapidly. 
during the last um, more than two decades now almost. And its growth rate has slowed down. But I think China uh, is adjusting uh, it, it in, by its own policy decision. The growth path that China is embarking now will allow it to improve the quality of its growth uh, to more sustainable levels. And I do believe that this, quote, new normal that one is talking about will also take China uh, continue to continue its march uh, towards uh, further um, uh, improvement in the living standards of the people, better quality of life, and uh, more sustainable, I think, is a more important factor in my, in my mind. That's very important that they have addressing this issue now because, as you know, the GDP growth is going down in China, and so the new normal is to, in response to this, uh, this going down of uh, GDP in, in China, and uh, this is the appropriate moment to address that issue. And I think uh, uh, what happened last month was to address not only that issue, but also the issue of labor, uh, that basically because of demographic issues uh, where Chinese population is aging, and that will have an impact on the labor market in China. So one of the issues that came up at the meeting was uh, towards uh, letting Chinese have two children. That's part of that, it seems. Um, that's about the labor market. Also important, I think, at that meeting was taking care of the aging population. So these three things, the development of economy, letting Chinese have two children, and taking care of the aging population are all part of this. It's not just economy, but it's also the population that's important. I think uh, what China has been doing is to react very quickly to the issues of what's happening within China and outside China. So the new development model uh, is coming at a very appropriate time.